Okay, viewers, I'm sorry, um, the last episode actually was only about 21 minutes long, not that that really matters, but I just realized that, I was like, oh, well, anyway. Um, so, real quick, I want to just show you something. If you come into the accessories page, you can see this, a blowfish weed. Um, this is actually what you would have had to buy if you didn't already have a lips tear in your possession. And um, I'm going to buy a few more of these. I actually bought five off screen, but I think we want at least 15 for now. Uh, we might actually want to sell these. We don't need them anymore. Um, they're not going to be useful for anything besides using in battle. And I don't think that you really want to do that. I also bought one of each of these. And... Um, on the armor and weapons, I went ahead and bought one leather hood, the spider's bite plate jacket, beast mantle, I almost thought it said breast mantle when I was off screen and I almost laughed real hard because I'm kind of immature like that. Anyway, spiked shoes and um, I was going to buy the leather doublet, but um, I don't know, I might as well just go ahead Let's do that. Uh, then I got the fighting shoes, and that was it. So we got all the good stuff down here. I didn't buy any of this stuff for um, our team, you know, because I just don't really see how they're going to be that useful for us. Um, you could buy this stuff if you think that you might be able to com combo it with something, but I really don't know what you could, so that's why I didn't buy it. Anyway. Nothing in the trash pit. Alright, uh, let's check our equipment now that we've done all that. Let's go ahead and equip the spider's bite. The plate jacket. Which makes our agility drop to 140, but that's fine. And, um... Can I put another accessory on? Yeah, I can. Though, I mean, I'm definitely giving this to um, Maya so she can have the upper defense and lower defense boosts. And I think that rest is actually a um, defense thing that probably like heals you up a little bit or something like that. Recovery rate increases during battle. Blocks abnormal status from blind. Ah, oh, but it has gentle precision. That won't really hurt too much, I guess. Remaining MP becomes HP when downed in battle. That actually is really nice. I mean, in most cases, I wouldn't be much HP, but, you know, that'd be kind of cool to have for later. And let's see, rest. It restores HP by consuming AP. Ah, oh, that's not too bad, I guess. An assault. Guard break. 25% damage can be given even if the tar is target is guarding. That's kind of like what um, that slime creature had in the uh, sewers. And defense sacrifice to increase attack. That would be bad, though. We don't really want that on anybody, but um, maybe Fextress could use it, I guess. Or we can just use it up to that point and then uh, not use it, I guess. I don't know. I said I was going to give her the, yep, white bangle. What are you using right now? You're using the a virus jewel, which says item increased sleep guard and anti-venom. Yeah, that'd be a good idea for now. Okay, so I think that's good. And do we have any extra, do we have any new skills? Oh, but it's not available yet. Okay. Oh wait, did I equip all their items too? I don't think I did. Oh, it also puts his charisma, uh, charisma or whatever it is down a little bit. Oh well. 
fighting shoe is useful. Alright, so did all that. We don't need any weapons on them. Hmm. Okay, I think that'll do it right there. That should be everything for now. A monster attacked the town the other day. Be careful. Really? Do you see a pet on the edge of town? His name is Kinjaro, and he's a famous salesman. Is that all you have for us? Sure. Okay. Now then, um... I can't think of anything else we have to do. Does he say the same thing about, um... No, he doesn't. He does actually have some new stuff, I think, though. Yes, he has the hot boots. I think that is the same, actually. Anything we can make out of our weapons? We can make an ice sword. No. Once we get some extra stuff, though, we can get Crusader Heart. We need some Crest Rocks, but I don't know where to find those. Just a god. And a Steel Saber. Tough sword cable of slicing through steel. Wow. Hmm. Anything armor that we can do? Oh yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. It doesn't cost anything, might as well. She already has the spike shoes. Okay. We already had the fighting shoes. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. What would we be able to make these into? Wind boots and chain sandals later on. Uh, I think most of the items that we need to make it into aren't available for a while, so nothing we can do there. show you what the blowfish weed does, but it's really not necessary if you already grab the, um, um, lips here from something else. I'm gonna buy a couple of these. I know I'm, like, running my money down, but I need to replenish some items that I lost. Oh yeah, I can just sell those scrolls if I run too far out. There you go. <clears throat> there they are. There you go. I made some of my money back. Do we need any cooking ingredients? Well, yes we do. I usually buy about three of whatever I need at a time, just because. Since that's so cheap, I'm gonna buy like five of those, though.
I've even been like buying stuff that you really can't cook anything with just to have it for later. There we go. I can't remember, are we still under a cooking thing or not? Oh. Yes, we are. Okay, good. Now, um, the forest maze, um, if you went into it before you, uh, got the, um, Ms. L. Red Sand, you could fight around there, but you won't really find anything good. And, um, you'll walk around in circles, like it says, forever. You'll never be able to find your way out. And, um, the enemies there you could actually fight and level up a lot if you went there before, you know, the eclipse happened. I don't think there's anything new in the wilderness town, is there? No harm in checking. Oh yeah, they say stuff about how, um, how things have been changing here. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm working on my side jump right now. You should try it too, Mike. It's really easy. Now, if someone told me to try this, even though I'm not really good at it. Okay, do you know how to side jump, Mike? Listen to an explanation. Let me explain how this works. Jump in the direction of the arrow. Your direction is fine for the first jump. Now watch carefully, this is how to jump to the right. Push the left analog stick to the right. The trick is to first use the stick that's opposite to the direction you want to run, uh, jump. Next, push the right analog stick. Then release the left. Then the right. Yeah, see this is why this is so confusing to me. It's like... I know it just takes... Um... practice, but, you know, still, it's like, um, no, it's, I go that one, then that one. Okay, yeah, I like that. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Watch the audio toggle and release. Practice jumping. Oh wait, I did that wrong again. See, you kind of get it, though. Okay, then, ready, Mike? Get set. Ah. Oh, you can't jump that way. <laughs> yeah, one. You're not so tough, are you, Mike? Yeah, anyway, if you play him enough, you actually uh, can get items, like I said before. But like I said, that's probably going to have to be a uh, bonus episode or something because I'm going to have to practice off screen to do it, you know, because I can't win that to save my life, so yeah. I think that's all we really need to worry about right now. Stop it. There we go. Let's go to the forest maze. Definitely save before you go in here, though, because it can be pretty dangerous. Like I said, especially after the uh, black suns in the sky. In fact, a guide I read says it's a good place to level up before you get the Mizel Red Sand if you want. But, like I said, I just don't really give that much thought. Good, now we will not be led astray. But we should still proceed cautiously. That black sun may have affected this forest also.
Now just to let you know, there are items in here, and I'm gonna try my best to find them all. But they can be really difficult to find, so just keep that in mind. Ah! This is the enemy that's really good for, um... That's another big one. I wonder if this is an effect of the Eclipse too. Fixtress. Mike, you just watch. Mike, this will be a good test for the new art. We will synchronize our moves for a massive attack. Are you ready? First, select battle. Oh, okay, this is a really awesome ability. Your turn, select attack. Now, do this. Down, left, up. Okay, I gotta write this down, because no, unless it tells me while I'm putting it in, I don't really think I'm gonna remember it. Let's see. Down, left, up, right, down, left. Airborne Fury, Variable Art, enter down, left, up, right, down, left. Combine for an awesome tandem attack. Hey, what do you think? Did I sound like the uh, colonel in that? <laughs> no, no, it took it off. Um, okay, what was it again? It was, um, I think it was like down, up, down. Actually, I can just look it up real quick. So it's like, it's probably like the very, yeah, Airborne Fury. It's down, left, up, right, down, left. Hit X, don't put any more attacks in. You guard. Oh, now it's my turn. He'll put his in. Okay, let's do it. I would laugh so hard if it like one shot at you before you could do it. Shoot. Finish it. How's that? Sheer perfection. Whoa! This I never knew. That's what you get when you combine our strength. I expect that you can do it with others as well. Now you can use variable arts whenever you please. And unlike um, Legend of the Gaia, these variable arts will actually show up in your list, unlike the super arts in, um, you know, um, yeah, see, like, there's your, um, Variable art. And also show the same for um, him, too. Now, of course, to know which one goes together, you gotta take a look at it. For example, in the uh, guide that I'm using by ESN Redshirt, um, he'll have an A for one and B for the other. And for example, the one we just used is the B variable. And you use Airborne Fairy and, um, and Fatal Impact. For the other one that we're going to be showing off in the next fight, if we have a chance to, I'll be using the A one. If we have enough experience, uh, enough AP, we probably won't. I think I just missed a turn there, didn't I? Oh no. I know there's like a, like there's different paths you can take. These kind of be a waste to use it on. And not to mention we have like no experience. <laughs> oh wow. Well. Well, no AP, I guess I should say. Dark flies, I think they can uh, cast blind on you. Thing also poison you, apparently. Don't be afraid to laugh at me if I die in this place, because I want to be surprised and I'll probably laugh too. Yeah. 
The Starfly seems to be the weaker of the Thanks. two enemies we're up against right now, so that's good to know. Definitely gonna have to do a heal after this turn. Children of the sky! Not bad for her fire. But they didn't seem to care much for wind, so that's okay. Alright. By the way, does that sword not look badass to you guys? To me it does. But I digress. Anyway, let's do that. Sure, we'll do a repeat. Move again. I got rid of that guy, so we can continue on. That was nothing. Wind of comfort. Let's get healed up here so that we don't die in the next round. Mike in the way when she jumped back so it showed Mike's chest. It's mine! Let's roll! You know, the guy who drew the uh, swords for this game did a really amazing job, you gotta admit. Looks more like an axe at the top though than a sword. <laughs> up too much of my uh, stuff here so I'm gonna go ahead and just use a simple super art that should do Let's see if I'm right, if he does... Yeah, he does. Berserk. Which I gave that to Fetchers, not money, so that's not good. We can get into like one more fight before we stop so we can uh, show off the next move I want to show off. Here's one Silver Baroom. Alright. Yeah, some of these will be dead ends that lead only to treasure chests, so just keep that in mind. If you don't like being in this place for a long time, then I would recommend pulling up a guide to know the exact way out. Don't waste my time. I can't show off the second one yet. I know you guys are waiting for the one that I want to show off, but I can't show it off in this fight because of the fact that I don't have the right setup yet. chance to stun. Well, that 
seem to be pretty useful. Light from the heavens. <laughs> Dark in the light. Oh, but he's blind. Alright. When you're berserk, it makes it a little bit harder for you to uh, defend. I don't want to take a chance of him killing um, one of my characters, so I'm going to go ahead and take and get rid of the berserk status. This is kind of overkill. Finish so soon? There we go, that takes care of that problem. episode.